How's everybody doing? Mike here, the channel is Let's Turn 2, and today we're going to get a look at the last three years of Topps Heritage, working from left to right. We've got two value packs of 2022, two from 2023, and then one hanger box from 2024. Why only one here? Well, I wanted it to be an even fight, so we've got 30 cards amongst these two packs, 30 cards here, and this box is going to have 35, but a hanger box is going to cost a little bit more than two of these combined, at least right now prices. So it kind of on a per card basis works out to be equal. Let's just figure out which of the three designs we like the best. And amongst these in particular packs and box, which year produces the best card as we set up our on deck. Let me know what your favorite card was, which year you liked the best and which of these you liked the best. So I think we'll just go in order starting with 2022. As I record this and release this video, it is Monday, September 23rd, 2024. We're into the last week of the Major League season, the regular season anyway. So this time next week, it's kind of sad because the season flew by, but this time next week, 18 clubs and their fan bases will be done watching their favorite team's uh, baseball for the calendar year. Living here in St. Louis... And being a Giants fan, my two teams are amongst those 18 that will be done one week from today. Let me know in the comments how your team's doing, if they are in the playoffs or making a push. It's going to be a fun last week of the season. Here's the design for 2022 in case we forgot. Adam Wainwright, very nice. I think the division leaders, as they sit right now, are going to be the ones that end up winning the division. The ones that are, I think, up for grabs. You still got... The NL West with the Dodgers, a slight lead over San Diego. And then Houston, it's just a matter of maybe a day or two. They'll have that locked up over Seattle. But I think the way it sits right now, the six division winners, that's how it's going to end. Got an upside down card. Probably just going to be a short print, but maybe we'll get lucky and it's a, a variation or an autograph. Tyler Gilbert. And it is just a short print of Alec Manoa and a new age performers, Jared Kalnick. So I think that means that'll be our only short print since it was upside down. All right. I don't think there's really anything in here, you know, just kind of a so-so pack. Not going to put anything on deck from this one. So what's up for grabs? We got New York, a huge series coming up in Atlanta. Wild card spots, very much up for grabs in both leagues. But also, you know, this isn't the most exciting prediction. I think it's going to, in the American League, I think it's going to stay, or I hope it's going to stay, the way it is with, uh, right now, Detroit and Kansas City would get in, and Minnesota would just miss out. I am also, you know, living here in Missouri, I do root for the Royals. They would be my American League team, so I hope they hold on. It's a rookie card there of Brian De La Cruz. Francisco Lindor was making a case at the MVP until he got injured, but really good year for Lindor. Not sure if he'll be back in time for the Atlanta series or not. For Kyle Lewis. So 2022, not putting up much of an argument here. We've got a New Age Performers of Patrick Wisdom. I got to pick something to... To put on deck to represent 2022. What do we think? You know, Mike Soroka. I mean, what the heck? We're just going to go ahead and put the, the Lindor. I guess I could have put... Well, actually, you know what? It was a short print. So I guess we'll put the short print on deck. So 2022, I don't think or I hope, isn't going to be the winner of this video. But I do like the design. It's a very clean, very simple design. Let's go now into 2023. Maybe get lucky with a Gunnar Henderson or uh, Adley Rushman rookie. And in the National League, I'm going to make a prediction, I think. So my Giants just went to Kansas City, which it was kind of bittersweet. They swept the Royals, but those games really mean nothing to the Giants. So it really hurt the Royals way more than it helped the Giants. But I'm going to say the Giants stay hot, playing spoiler, Go to Arizona, sweep the Diamondbacks. I don't think the the fill or the uh, the New York Atlanta series. No, I don't think either team will sweep the other. 
I think it'll go two to one. So this is a very similar design to 2022. If we just compare that, very, very similar. But I don't think it's going to be a sweep either way with Atlanta and New York. So I'm going to say Arizona drops out and both New York and Atlanta make it in. There's the Gunnar Henderson rookie that on its own just beat 2022 in my opinion. Paul Goldschmidt played his maybe his last home game as a Cardinal yesterday. We'll see if if he comes back it'll probably be at a pretty severe discount. Lars Newtbar his teammate. Flashbacks. It's pretty cool. Sears Tower. Matt Walner rookie, Raphael Devers, and Bobby Dalbeck. So let's go ahead just to have both both years represented. Let's set up the the duel on deck. We'll have left field and we'll have right field. And let's put the Gunnar Henderson rookie over here. And I'm not sure if they were flipping around the short prints in 2023 as well. So let's just take a look. All right. Now, I was talking about Lindor a little earlier, making a case against Otani for the... Ooh, we got a security tag on the back of this one. Does that mean something special's in here? But I think Otani and Judge, they have the MVPs wrapped up. The Cy Youngs are likely to be Chris Sale and Tariq Skubal. The Rookie of the Year is where there's a little bit of debate. Gary Sanchez... Carlos Perez rookie, but in the National League, are you vote? If you had a vote, would you vote for Jackson Merrill or Paul Skeens? Sort of a pitcher versus position player battle because they've both been great for what they do. Flashbacks, Bob Gibson, really cool card there. All right, so the security tag faked us out. Nothing too much going on in here, unless we have a ver image variation that I don't know about. There's a short print. That'll probably be it. All right. So it was a short print of Jesus Sanchez. So, all right. So this is why, you know, some people, I love opening Heritage, but some people not the biggest fan just because it is very base heavy, very base heavy. And, uh, you know, the inserts are, you know, not the most exciting. But if you do get an autograph, it's all about the autograph. They are always on card. They hold some pretty good value. Especially if you get the red ink, which will be num hand numbered. In the American League, I think Luis Heel probably has the Rookie of the Year locked up. But I think for the NL, if I had a vote, I would probably give it to Paul Skeens. He's just been so good. Not that Jackson Merrill hasn't. In my Fantasy Baseball League, I actually drafted Jackson Merrill, and he's been starting for me all year. Because at least for this year, he still qualifies as a shortstop. So has added even more value. But here lately, I've actually played him more in the outfield than I have shortstop. So okay, this is a big change in terms of design. You know, you had 2022 and 2023 very similar. And now you get to 2024 and it's just much more colorful. And I mean, I don't know. While I like the, you know, the clean, simplistic back here... I just, I really like this design. So we got a Whitey Herzog in a Royals uniform. It's pretty interesting. You know, I certainly remember him as a Cardinal, but he was definitely had his time with the Royals. Bobby Wood Jr., really cool. I love that card. Mike Yastrzemski. Is this, this isn't an insert. That's just a base card. Joey Votto, now retired. Class A. We were talking about Cy Young. He's certainly making his case. Even though I think Scooball is going to win it, this guy is going to have some pretty historic numbers in terms of ERA and whip, and maybe he gets to 50 saves. Really nice base pack to start. Nick Lofton, rookie. Brian Reynolds. And no, we didn't get a hot box here if you're new to watching Heritage. I don't have all these autographs. These are just printed on facsimile autographs. There's your... Probable Cy Young winner, Tariq Skubal, right there. It's a nice card. Class A, leading fireman, 2023. He will probably be on that same card in 2025 when it comes out. 
Austin Meadows, Ellie De La Cruz. I think we might have found the best catch for the video. Very, very nice. Reds, a disappointing season. And it was capped off by their manager, David Bell, getting fired last night. So let me know in the comments. You know, let me know. What do you think? What teams do you think are going to get in the playoffs? What do you think in terms of you know, the award season? Who do you have winning what? And uh, I should have said it before, but if you've gotten this far into the video, thank you. Virtual high five. Hit that subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Let's bring this last little section of cards, cards a little bit of luck, a little bit of magic. I thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who thumbs up, who interact down in the comments section. I really appreciate it. I read all the comments. I try and respond to every one of them. So yeah, thanks to each and every one of you. There's a Davis Schneider rookie. World Series, just kind of a recap card. Clayton Kershaw. Oh, and you see your thumbs up and your subscribe. Subscribing helped. We've got a numbered card. Don't know quite who it's going to be. Can't even tell what team it is. So let's just save it for last and let's take a look at these base cards to end. Andrew Abbott. That's a really nice Pete Alonzo insert. New Age Performer, Raphael Devers insert. And what do we have? Henry Davis. Okay. So back in the spring, this would have certainly been a big card. A lot of, you know, hope for Davis, former number one overall pick. But it is a numbered to 999 rookie card, so I think we have a decision to make. The Manoa can go ahead. He got enough airtime. That card got enough airtime. But what would we say? We've got the Gunnar Henderson rookie. We've got the Chrome numbered to 999 Henry Davis rookie, which, if that weren't a Chrome wouldn't be getting considered but it is a chrome and then we've got the ellie base i'm gonna say i mean let's just go cool factor wise they're all about equal chrome is always a little bit you know nicer of a card but you know value wise what do we think which one would get more i'm gonna say this one just being numbered gives it a chance i'll say it is the ellie let me know what your favorite card was can't go wrong with any of these three 2022 was a bit of a bust so if I had the three years laid out in front of me and I had to pick one to open, I would probably stick with 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Let's go ahead and give the Ellie all of the airtime there. No distractions. There we go. I thank everyone for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care.